Hello, welcome back to the second half of FD54 sweatshirt assembly. In this section, we'll be covering the ribbed hem assembly to the bottom, the zipper application, and the hood assembly. We're going to sew the ribbed hem and our the rib hem side seams and the application to the bottom section will be sewing on the five thread overlock. The zipper, the sweatshirt, or the sweatshirt hood assembly will be sewing with the single needle. First we'll get started. We're going to sew, well you'll take your rib hem, fold it in half, and then we'll sew the sides. Once you've done that, you're going to turn the points and now on this, what you might find you have to do, you might have to piece your ribbed hem, which means you might have to put a seam at center back. Now to place this on the bottom hem, we're going to need to fold it in half we can put a pin to mark the half then you're going to fold it in quarters and you're going to put a pin at the quarter marks. This marks the center back, the, sh the side seams, and then your points are the front. So when we get ready to sew this, we're going to line it up with the center back of the sweatshirt. First you want to turn your sweatshirt inside out. You'll have right sides up. Fold the sweatshirt in half. Make sure you have your center back. And then this is where your center back seam will go. And we're only using a couple pins. I'm not going to pin the whole thing down. I'm going to stretch it, the rib, and pin it at the sides. And then we'll do that to the other side, stretch it a little bit, and pin it. Now we're going to do something very different at the fronts. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be setting this back a half inch from the edge and we're going to fold this over. Now doing this, when it's turned, will give us a nice clean edge so we can sew our zipper on. If 
you want to do that the same to the other side. When we start, we're going to set it just a little bit ahead of the knife. And then you want to make sure that you take the pin out. That completes the five thread overlock for the ribbed hem. The next step would be to sew on the separating zipper at the center front. Um, before you sew it on, you've already want to have prepared. Once we've moved to the single needle machine and we've changed to our zipper foot, it's time to set the zipper. Before we get started, you're going to fold the hoodie in half, line up the pockets and the hem and the top. You want to make sure these points match before we set the zipper in. If they don't match, go back, double check your work and readjust. At this point, what we're going to do is set the zipper in between. And then also, too, if your zipper is too long, you want to remove the stops from the top. Do not zip the zipper up all the way once you've removed the stops, because if you do zip the zipper up all the way, your zipper head will come off. So you want to keep the zipper head down and away from the top <laughs> once you've removed the stops. What we'll do is we'll line this up and you want to take your pins and we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to start so we're a quarter of an inch away from the bottom here that's where we're going to start to sew on the zipper we're going to set it in between there And then we're going to mark the zipper, put a pin at the point where the hem comes to the top. And then we're going to put a pin where the top of the pocket matches the zipper tape. 
and then you want to put a pin where the top of the zip where the top of the sweatshirt meets the the zipper. Now you want to put pins on the other side of the zipper too. If you do this with chalk marks or pen or pencil, make sure you make a small dot on the inside of the tape. That way it is hidden. But pins work fine too. You just got to remember to remove them as you sew. And then also too, we want to remember to place our mark on the bottom on the other side. So we'll have it on the other side too. And then once you have them both marked, you can take your zipper apart. Now remember the top of the pin is the inside. So I'm placing my zipper on the top. This is a stay stitch, so I can use a longer stitch because we're actually going to sew the zipper down twice. So I'm going to sew in the middle of the tape. And I'm going to remember to sew top to bottom. Every time I sew, it'll be top to bottom. And I don't want to pull. When I get to the top of the pocket or the pin where the top of the pocket is, I want to make sure it matches. And then when I get to the bottom down here, I'm not going to sew it all the way. I'm just going to sew it down close to the fold, but I want to make sure that my marks line up. So I want to make sure that I've got the pin at the top of the pocket, the pin, the top of the rib hem, and then also the pin at the bottom, that they all line up. The other side you'll do the same. You want to start at the top of the zipper or the top of the hoodie and the top of the zipper.
and you double check, make sure that, again, your pin lines up with the top of the rib and then the bottom here of the rib too. Okay, once you have it stay stitched in, you can flip it over and start sewing. But you'll have to change to the left-handed zipper foot to sew one of these sides. So we can do the top stitching on the top. Once we've changed our zipper foot, you want to make sure that it rolls and covers the teeth. And then also you can shorten your stitch length. Now once you get close to the bottom, you want to raise the presser foot and move the zipper head. If the pin matches, you can pull it out and then finish sewing in that side of the zipper. There might be some bulk, so you can ease it along here at this section. That finishes the right side. The left side, you'll do the same. You're going to start at the top. We'll have to make sure we have the left handed zipper foot in. You'll start at the top of the zipper. You can roll the fabric underneath here so it doesn't get caught in the way. 
because you don't want it pulling. Again, you want to make sure the pins match up. Now this sets the zipper. For your sweatshirt. The next step would be to sew on the hood. So we can unzip this again. Leave it inside out. Now before we start, we're going to change the foot back to our regular sewing foot. Now your hood should be overlocked. You should have your buttonholes already set and you should have had the cover stitch put in with the casing for the drawstring. And then also you should have five threaded the back seam of the hood. So this part can be assembled beforehand. Um, to put this on now, we're going to match it, well, turn it inside out, find the center backs, this would be the center back seam for the hood, and then you want to find the center back on the bodice. And you can mark that with a pin. And what we'll do is we'll set the center back seam to that pin. Usually when I sew and I work in knits, I only mark certain key areas. That would be the center back of the hood, the center back of the back of the sweatshirt, the shoulder seams, there's a notch, there is a notch in the hood here for the shoulder seam. You can pin that, but I don't pin the front hood 
because there is a slight curve to it and you'll have to work the curve into the curve of the neckline to get these two points to match. So I'll just pin the center back, the shoulders, and leave the fronts um, to where, leave them free to where I can, uh, you know, so work them in uh, independently and work the ease in. So we'll pin at the seam here, or the shoulder seam and the notch. You also, too, want to make sure that the seams for your shoulder seams, when you pin them, they're going back towards the back bodice. So you want to pin both seams with the tape up. I haven't cut the zipper off yet. Um, we'll do that after we sew this one seam. We're going to start. And this can be a quarter of an inch seam. or excuse me, this can be a half inch to three eighths seam. Now when you get to the other shoulder seam, you want to make sure that it's flat underneath and that your seam is going up and that the twill tape is facing in the right direction. You want to take out the pin too. Now when I get to this last little section in the front, I want to make sure that I've eased this in properly and that it stretches or eases in around the curve. I don't want to sew it straight because that'll shorten the hood and wind up where they're not matching. Make sure you've taken out all your pins. And this is your sweatshirt seam or the hood seam. To finish this off, to make a clean finish on the inside, we're going to sew twill tape to the seam allowance. We're going to catch the twill tape in the seam allowance without sewing on top of, on top of the sweatshirt. So we're only catching the seam allowance. So here's where I want to clip the zipper. And then also to reduce bulk in here, 
I can grade some of this seam down. So we'll cut the zipper ends off. Try not to cut your sweatshirt, the good side of your sweatshirt. We're only cutting off the excess of one side of the seam allowance. This reduces bulk in our neckline. So you only want to cut it by half. So if you do a half inch seam allowance, we're cutting a quarter of an inch off. We're leaving the top side because that's the side that's going to catch the twill tape. Now we're going to take a length of quarter inch twill tape. Make sure. Now wrap it around the edge. And we can set this up so we're a little bit away from the seam. And then you're going to continue sewing the twill tape onto the seam allowance. When you get to the end, you can trim it a little bit more. You can fold it under and then you'll cut off your lengths. Because you want to catch that.
Now once you've had your once you've sewn your twill tape, what we're going to do now is we're going to sew it from the top and we're going to try to catch the twill tape down from the bottom. So we'll turn it over or turn it right side out and turn it over. You can clip any threads. And you want to make sure this is good and flat. So you want to make sure you've flattened everything out. When you start on this, everything's flat, um, that there's no extra fabric underneath, and that the seam is pressed out, well, that the seam's laying flat. And you can do this by hand, too, or if you'd like, what you can do is set this up on the ironing board and press it out to where the dark, or excuse me, you can press it out to where the seam allowance goes down into the bodice of the shirt, or into the bodice of the sweatshirt. So once we get this all set up, Turn the hood inside out. It's all laying flat. We can start with our top stitching. And you want to double check. Make sure that you catch it underneath. And you're going to do a quarter of an inch top stitching. And we'll do this by lining up this side of our regular foot with the seam. And you can double check as you sew to make sure that you're catching your seam allowance.
This will finish off the neck. Once that's done, to finish the top of the zipper off, remember we removed the stop. What you're going to want to do is put a stop back on because you can remove the stops with a pair of needle nose pliers, but you can put the stop back on. And that completes the hooded sweatshirt for FD-54.